over here, I'm gonna stop by removing the fender liner. Easy DC or DSC connector here. I'm just using my seven millimeter to remove the cap. Oh, yeah, expose the connector. To depressurize the DSC system here, I'm gonna use a, a rubber hose like this. The end of the rubber hose, I'm gonna use a, a bottle of water just to collect the fluid so I just put the end of my hose here in the bottle to actuate the valve I'm just gonna use I have a big cutter pin so I'm gonna take my hose here slide my cutter pin inside the hose and then I'm gonna Put my holes back here and now the only thing I have to do is to use the cutter pin to press and depressurize. Okay, so I put my holes all the way up and then here we go, I reduce the pressure. You see the fluid floating here in the bottle. And I think that's gonna be it, pretty much. So 13 millimeter here. Okay. There we go, and here. I can disconnect my DRC line here without making a mess. You can see no drip whatsoever. If you wanted to refill the DRC, you could uh, change those fittings to uh, something more friendly uh, than this size. That I don't know what it is, but the, the the fitting here can easily be replaced if you need to, and you could repressurize yourself. Okay, so that completes the depressurization of the DRC system. And since we depressurize here uh, the left rear, that means the front right is also depressurized. So um, it's much easier to do for the from the rear, and you have plenty of room to to do it. So the line we just disconnected that is here uh, just runs here above and come to the DRC canisters that, that are here so here this line is going to be easy enough to pull uh, I'm going to disconnect it from the canister and remove it from the car So here I disconnected my rear line, as you can see. I'm gonna disconnect the other one so I can get the canister out of the way and then get the line out of the way. Okay, the front line disconnected. Okay, so here we have both lines disconnected. Gonna be able to remove the canister. And so now I'm going to be able to more easily get my line out here. It is just clips at the top. There we go. And now I can get the line out. Use a, a bit of brake cleaner.
to keep the line clean here. So here we are, the line is disconnected. And so here I can just take my thread out here and uh, just collect the, the few drips of oil that are left in it. When, uh, if you uh, compress the strut, if uh, you had to compress the strut, more oil is gonna come out. So here we are at full drop, there's still oil in the strut. Just be mindful of that. So here, I'm just gonna use painter's tape first. Prevent anything from getting in. Keep it clean and then the printer tape is going to get soggy if there's some oil in it. So I just use another layer of duct tape. I don't put the duct tape directly because the duct tape has more glue on it. A couple of layers of duct tape around and I can seal it now just like this. Okay, so. We're gonna finish removing this DRC line and the canister under the car. So this one is a rear right that the front left, front right, and I already removed the other line. So I'm gonna remove the canister now. Just three 30 millimeters. 13 millimeter nuts. One, two. Careful, there is still oil in the can canister, so hold it up so that the oil doesn't drip down. Um, so, here you can see on that side, the line just runs over here. I just popped it out of the plastic here. And now you can see it on the side here, it's going over the subframe. I'm gonna see if I can get it off easily or not. So after a lot of wrestling, I was able to bend the line and get it out uh, over. I actually got it uh, from the control arm side here, putting towards the front of the control arm and uh, putting it out this way. But you can see it doesn't have the this is the original shape. I had to bend that section quite a bit to make it fit through. But that's doable. Uh, if you don't want to drop the Supreme, you can still remove the rear line. The front lines are going to stay in the car. So here to cap the line, I'm using those little silicone caps. And you just have to slide it over here. And then I just thread it in the... Uh, in the fitting it is a tight fit but that's what you want so that it doesn't fall off yeah. and you can see there's a cap on here you can find those uh, silicone caps on uh, Amazon. So here I already depressurized the line so there's no need for me to remove the cap I'm gonna disconnect right away So here, keep the line up. Same thing, I'm gonna cap that off. Okay, let's thread it in. This way with the zip tie with the uh, brake line, this will stay in place. So here the two canisters connected to each other. See, with the rear lines, so that they uh, 
keep the contaminants out.